How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Uh, this is going to be more of an informational video for you guys looking to level up your legends as quickly as possible. So um, I think a lot of people uh, this is important. If you're trying to get a legend to level 25 or even if you're just trying to level up a legend really quick so that you can get uh, all their stances unlocked or whatever. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the best way to get XP and I actually did a lot of uh, <laughs> I did a lot of grinding to determine this. I didn't just guess. I didn't go off anybody else's word. Uh, so this is what I did to determine the best XP for 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 any any legend really. It doesn't really matter who you're playing as. So what I did was I played all the different game modes. I played free for all, two v two, one v one, and I also did custom game modes. Okay, so I played five free for all games. I played after I played each game, I ch I wrote down the time that it took to do each game, how much XP I gained that game, what position did I place, like first, second, third, fourth, the XP per minute per game, and then the average XP per minute for a category, like free for all, 2v2, 1v1. So this is basically what I found. This is the uh, chart that I created. So as you can see, in free for all, I played five games. The time for each game is five minutes. I placed first in three of the games, and second in two of the games. And you can see I got a little bit more XP when I placed first. And then this is the XP per minute based on the time and the XP gained. And then this is the uh, average XP for each game mode. So for free for all, 29 XP per minute on average after five games. 2v2 was actually the worst for XP. I'm not sure why, uh, because I also won three games and lost two. And you can see there's actually a pretty big difference in the games where you win and the games where you lose. So if you win, you're going to get a lot more XP, obviously, than what these numbers show. Okay, so in 1v1, I was actually surprised it gave almost the most XP that you can possibly get. I won three of the games. I was alternating wins and losses. And as you can see, it still showed uh, I got more XP when I won than when I lost. And then for custom game lobbies, I did a bunch of different things. They weren't all the same settings. So the 15 minute game, I did dodgeball or no dodge bomb, dodge bomb, eight bots, medium difficulty, 200% damage. And that was a long game. I got almost 600 XP, which actually was awesome because it was like a huge chunk on my Lin Fei, who was level 23. I got like a third of a level just by doing that. But it was a long grind. 15 minutes is a long time to sit there throwing bombs at bots. So I did another custom game where I did the same thing, uh, dodgeball, but for five minutes and 300% damage. And I actually got a tiny bit more XP. I only got 200 XP in five minutes, but that was actually more than... Uh, the 563 in 15 minutes. And then this uh, third custom lobby, I did a regular uh, free-for-all game, like a timed game, five-minute time game against eight bots, all medium difficulty. And I got first, and I got the most XP doing that. The two-minute was, I believe, uh, Beach Brawl. Beach Brawl is, I did only a two-minute game, and I still got 41 XP doing Beach Brawl. Uh, so that's a good... Uh, return on investment and then this one I forget what it was I think it was oh yeah horde I did horde mode with bots and uh, still got almost 40 XP we did terrible and I still got 40 XP so a uh, couple things to uh, add to this basically uh, I noticed that you get more XP not only for winning but also for getting certain special things within the game I'm pretty sure uh, including like double knockouts, triple knockouts, uh, dominating, uh, godlike, you know, things like that. If you get a lot of uh, special things happening to you in the game like that, or even just KOs in general, the more KOs you get, the more double, triple, multi KOs, uh, all those different uh, multipliers that you can get, you get more XP for doing those. So the game does reward you based on how well you play. And. Ultimately, though, 
it, it basically came down to you get the most XP in 1v1s and in custom. So what I would say is if you want to level up a legend and you also want to like have fun playing that legend, just do 1v1 games. You're going to get better at the legend and you're going to be gaining XP pretty dang fast. If you don't really uh, feel like using your brain or you have like dual monitors like I do, uh, and you don't, you know, you just kind of want to mindlessly grind XP and you're not really worried about improving your game or anything like that, I would recommend just doing custom lobbies versus bots. Uh, <laughs> versus, versing bots is extremely boring to me, but that's because I find them so, so uh, easy to beat. So it depends on your skill level. I'm like 13 time diamond. So if you're like a average gold player or you're a pretty new player, uh, going against bots might not be as easy and... Um, you know, but it's, it might be still easier than doing 1v1s. So what I like to do is just like pull up a YouTube video that I can like kind of half watch and listen to in the background on my second monitor. And I can just be throwing bombs mindlessly at bots and ga gaining pretty good XP as well. So that's basically it, guys. Um, I did not test whether you get more XP in ranked or unranked because I'm pretty sure it's the same. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but in when I put 1v1 and 2v2, they were unranked. Experimental, 1v1, and friendly 2v2. So, um, somebody else, if you want to try testing rank, this took me like, <laughs> it took me hours just to get this uh, data and put it all in this chart and figure all this out. So, uh, if somebody else wants to check on if ranked does uh, more, I, I don't think it does. So I think it's the same, but I could be wrong. So, but anyways, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, what I'm trying to do now, I have every legend, let me show you what I got. Every legend in the top two rows, I already have black colors for. I, I'm trying to get my Lin Fei next. She's level 24. And on the third row here, all I need is Caspian, Sidra, Zol, Kaya, Isaiah. <laughs> so these these five, uh, Lin Fei, six, Rayman, seven, Dusk, eight, Thor 9, Petra 10, Vector 11, and Volkov 12. So I have 12 more legends to uh, to get to level 25 and get black colors. And you also need 25,000 gold or coins or whatever to purchase the black. Uh, so I need 300,000 gold to get all the remaining legends uh, black colors assuming they don't come out with any more new legends. So I only have hundred thirty thousand gold right now So it's it's uh, it's a grind. I'm, I'm working on getting these level legends. My lowest level legend is probably Sidra at level 16 So she's my lowest level. So that's not terrible. So most of these legends are like level 19 20 So I have a little bit ways to go. I'm gonna focus on Lin Fei because she's 24 I'm gonna try to get her to uh, level 25 today or tomorrow or the next couple days and then after Lin Fei I'm gonna make a video on that as well and then after Lin Fei I'm not sure who I'm gonna work on let's see Petra's pretty close she's 21 I, I usually just pick whoever's the closest to 25 and then grind them the rest of the way so I might do Petra next but yeah guys I can't wait after I get every legend black colors uh, without bots without botting because some people have like many, 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 many black colors or they have like multiple level 100 legends, but they use botting uh, or macros to, to just grind all day long while they're not even sitting at the computer. And to me, that's cheating. I'm going to be, as far as I know, I want to be the first person to get every legend to level 25 the legit way without uh, botting. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And after that, then I'm going to try to get all legends to white. And then I'm going to try to get all legends skyforged and goldforged. So it's going to take a long time. I have like 2,500 hours in this game. And I am not even really close. I, I'm probably like... I'm over halfway to getting all the legends uh, level 25. But... So yeah, that's about it. I kind of was chatting a lot on this video. Probably longer than it, than it needed to be. But... Just wanted to give you guys an overview. I'm not actually going to play any games <laughs> on this video, so sorry if you wanted to... Actually, alright, I'll play one game. Why not? 
I, I'm grinding uh, Lin Fei, so let's just do a uh, 1v1 with Lin Fei. Uh, just so, so I can say, uh, I did say uh, playing some Brahalo today for you guys at the beginning, I'm pretty sure. So I got to play at least one game here. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day as well. That was the longest intro ever, ever in the history of my channel. It wasn't really an intro though, 12 minutes. Basically the whole video um, was just, <laughs> but... Oh, ho, ho, boy, get slapped down. You guys probably thought my mic was muted because I didn't talk for so long. <laughs> Ooh, got me with that spear side air. I actually haven't seen that Nash uh, skin in a long time, so that's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, that was so close, bro. Ooh, nice stomp. He got me there. I think I can still win this, though. I'm not too, too worried. Let's see. Alright, good. I needed to kill him without really taking damage, and I did that. So, final stocks. You would think you would think after playing Lin Fei so much I'd be a little bit better, right? Oh my goodness, he he could have punished me so well there if he if he did it a little differently. GG dude. Hey I got the win. GG though. So Alright guys. Whew. Um yeah, that's it. I wasn't really planning on actually playing a game. But uh hope you enjoyed the information. Um regardless, uh, it took me a while to make this. I wanted to be sure the best XP per minute. Uh, so ultimately 1v1s and custom lobbies are the best and fastest way to uh, level up a legend in Brawlhalla as of right now So anyways guys hope you enjoyed if you did please go ahead and drop a like be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content And as always guys, I hope to see you in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy guys